Oh, yeah, I am pumped for this guy. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, the WWE Light Heavyweight Champion, Christian Page. You know, I know for a fact that there are a number of people in the locker room who dread getting in the ring with this superstar. Well, Byron, every superstar in that locker room is being paid to compete, so spare me the sob story. The champ knows the competition level's at an all-time high. He needs to show he's above all competitors. Here we go, guys. And his opponent from Vancouver, British Columbia, weighing in at 210 pounds, Kyle O'Reilly! Social media has been buzzing since this match was announced, and I think the competitors plan on delivering on that hype. He has a big match ahead of him. Going to need a career-making performance here tonight. And this match has certainly been on his mind all day long. While his title's not up for grabs here, you have to imagine he'll be keeping his head on a swivel so he can protect his title in a future defense. When you're on top like he is, Cole, everyone wants a piece. He's definitely got a lot on his plate going into this. But he has to put away the challenger here tonight. And that is easier said than done, especially considering how locked in and focused this superstar is on earning a future championship opportunity. Put into the corner now. Close line in the corner. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Fought off with an elbow. Counter upon counter. Great minds thinking alike. Lifted way up. Oh, atomic drop. Oh, what are they doing here? All the way up, sit down, Gord Buster. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. Set up for the oh. leg sweep. Nicely done. Oh, world's strongest flag. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Uh-oh. We're going to see it. What power. Sit down. A powerbomb like that will leave you with bruises and remind you of this moment for days. Thrown back in under the ropes. Shoots the half. Bulldog. He's been quickly taking control here. It is all going his way right about now. Snap suplex. Oh, my God, what an elbow. 
into the cover. And he kicks out in two. That was a long two count there. Big forearm. Saw that one coming. Took advantage. Counters on counters. Technical prowess on display. Our shot. What's next? Shaped over the middle rope. Jeez. Oh, sling shot. Double axe handle. Coming back into the ring. Back to the action. <laughs> Evades the attack. He's been placed in the corner now. Gets him with the counter. Oh. Done. Knees up, saw it coming, and was laying in wait. <laughs> DDT! And shoulders are down. Two, and they kick out at two. He thought he had it. He's reeling, slowly getting up. Cinching in the arm ringer, but their opponent gets countered with a right hand. Time to flip it. Ball switch. Turn the lights out. Good night. Looking for the victory. Two count. He's still in this fight. Wow, looks like this book has a couple more chapters in it. We might be seeing a whole saga written tonight. How draining was that? Can it be done again? Can that maneuver be summoned at least one more time? Taking flight. What? You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. And he gets sent back into the ring. Oof. Uh oh. He moved, but can he capitalize? Him up a spine buster. And here we go now. Elbow drop. Well placed elbow drop. In position. Ready to spear. Tuck him in. It's bedtime. this one bad. Yeah, what a major win for him here. We really saw what these competitors were made of here tonight. Yeah, especially the winner. Hey, maybe we're going to get a handshake. Yeah, I'm actually surprised if Superstar is extending his hand and... Well... Uh-oh! Uh -oh, wait! Things 
did not go as they planned. There's no reason. How disrespectful. But guys, you know, they should have known better than to take the bait. Yeah, it's clear there's a total lack of respect between these two. Emotions running high in this highly anticipated match, but this match is now officially underway. It takes real toughness to climb into the ring after taking a few hits. It shows how much this match means to everyone involved. No, I don't think that's a choice they should have had to have made in the first place. It's totally unfair. It could dramatically affect the final outcome of this contest. Only time will tell. Forearm club. Oh, an axe handle. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Knees up, just in time. Oh, and back of the elbow. Damian Priest has an air of confidence when he enters each match. How do you expect him to back up? Penny predicament, shoulders down, throws up the shoulder. Yeah, seem to be just testing the waters a bit there. Planning on what to do next. Oh, right to the throat. Talking trash. Forearms to the face. And another. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Look at these vicious stomps in the corner. Oh, a flurry of strikes. You can feel the resentment building with each stomp there. Stomps. Elbow drop right on point. Respect get to them, and now they are standing tall. Definitely kept their head clear in this one. Who knows? Maybe this win will grant them the respect. Here comes the pride fighter. And a woman who is all about the power. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. Making her way to the ring from Shamal, New Jersey, Sonya Deville. Well, here's a cunning opportunist. Careful how you speak about Sonya Cole. She happens to have a very gifted mind for this business, both as an official and from bell to bell. Sonya Deville ready to assert some authority and dominance in the ring. She better get it done there because she can't abuse her powers backstage anymore. I'm so excited because here comes the TCB tank. And her opponents, first from Oakland, California, Shazzy. Byron, one of the most 
most unique women superstars in history, but she has quickly grown in popularity. Yeah, and quickly earned success too, Michael. Shotzi's a former NXT Tag Team Champion and nearly defeated Ronda Rousey for the SmackDown Women's title. Not afraid to fight, knows how to survive. And she's pretty fun to watch inside the ring, too. The consummate underdog of the women's division. Zelina Vega and representing the LWO from Queens, New York, Zelina Vega. Zelina has seen a tremendous amount of success lately. She won the Queen's crown and reformed the LWO. And Zelina's not showing any signs of slowing down. Zelina was no stranger to success before but now she seems destined for the top. On behalf of the entire WWE Universe, thank you, Trish. Such a suck up. And from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Trish Stratus. A multi-time women's champion, perhaps Trish's greatness can be fully appreciated by the fact that she left active competition for a generation and came back to WWE recently, still at the top of her game. Well, then it's fitting that many of the women Stratus inspired are now in the sights of Trish as she seeks her spot back on top of WWE. Fatal four-way rules in this one. Who can come out on top of the odds game? Ready for battle, we see Sonya Deville, Shotzi, Zelina Vega, and Trish Stratus. The gladiators appear ready for war tonight, and they have to be if you want to earn a victory in this one. The hostility between all four of these superstars is palpable. All want to destroy one another. Some superstars are understandably hesitant to exploit the no disqualification stipulation. Then they need to go wrestle a different match. This is the kind of match where you need to cross the line before the opposition does. If a superstar wants the W, they need to overcome that hesitation. Big lifts. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. She's going up. Top rope here. From the top, diving double axe handle. Big knee to the midsection. Chris gets countered. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. Ooh, she just turned it around. Springboard makes the cover. She breaks the count quick. Doesn't bow well if you still can't get more than a one count by now. A demoralizing attack on Shotzi there. Face first, here it comes! That was just wrong. Can she do it here? And the count's broken, keeping the match 
match alive. It's not over yet. Trish Stratus with a strategically placed shot.
The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. Raquel already has plenty of championship gold to her name. NXT Women's Champion, multiple tag titles. It's hard to imagine anything getting in her way. Raquel has more muscles in her back alone than Saxton does in his whole body. Excuse me? I mean, is he wrong? I just worked out. And from Yorktown Heights, New York, Man T. Hey, where's the horse? What are you talking about? Yeah, what horse? The high horse this superstar always seems to be on. Did Jerry Lawler write that line for you? I hope this woman's ready. There is no easy path to victory against the biggest powerhouse in women's division history, Raquel Rodriguez. And as this match gets started, we're looking at an unflinching superstar ready to throw down. True words spoken. She's been itching to get this fight started for quite some time now, but it'll be interesting to see if she's bitten off more than she could chew. I believe she's coming to this match with the exact attitude needed for the challenge. And let's hope she's ready to face off against the physically dominant Raquel Rodriguez. I don't know how anyone can prepare for her, Saxton. Raquel has proven that not only is she one of the strongest superstars on the women's roster, but she's also one of the most malicious. Can she capitalize? Ah. Caught in a bad position here. No, 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 no. Power bomb out of the apron. Well-timed counter on Rodriguez. <laughs> Reversal from Raquel. Oh. oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum backbreaker stretch. Able to evade. What a clothesline. Ouch. She's enduring some damage. Oh, impressive counter. Caught with that sharp elbow. She's in danger of a count out here. I don't know if she cares. Raquel has nothing but absolute destruction on her mind. Wow, at the last second, beat the count out. Ooh, sharp elbow. And here's a cover. She overcomes the pinfall attempt. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. She anticipated that one. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Rodriguez feeding up. Oh, she'd had enough of that. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Oh, look at this. Lights out. Imagine having to continue competing after eating the apron like that. Well placed Ooh. knees to the hamstrings. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Nice. And Raquel wasn't as 
focused as she should be and paid for it there. And she slides her back to the mat. <laughs> Bam! What a slap! Uh-uh! Adding a level of insult with that kind of physicality. Caught an elbow to the gut for that effort. Kick to the midsection prevents the attack. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. You know, I've noticed some friction lately between these superstars. Well, you can't be friends with everybody. I've noticed the same. There's definitely something of a rivalry here. And face foot. And she goes for the pin. Kick out close to three. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. She says, no thanks. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Oh, and that will keep Rodriguez at bay. Rodriguez with the nice turnaround. Carefully measured knee drop. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. Raquel there remains an intimidating presence no matter how far into this match we go. And the powerhouse Rodriguez taking down her opponent. And a massive clothesline. Oh, stuck between the corner and a splash. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. She just won't stay down. Front face lock applied. <laughs> Draping their opponent over the top rope, and it's gonna get worse. Oh, no way Raquel's getting up now. Shoulders down. I think it took everything Raquel had left in her to power out of that pin attempt. I don't know if there's more frustration or desperation in the ring now, knowing that you've tried to end this and failed. And these competitors are really laying it all on the line here. You can just tell how badly they want it. Big form. Front face lock applied into an airplane spin. That's incredible. Just deadlifting their opponent. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. We might be close to the end. And this is, uh, well, it's not looking good. Uh-oh. Ooh, she responds with a counter. She left herself open. Oh, God. Spine buster. Kick to the back. And a moment of despair for Rodriguez now. The match hangs in the balance, and Raquel has more questions than answers at this point. Raquel could be over here! This is it! And she fights it off. Obviously still has some fight left. Ouch. Elbow drop. Piercing. Going for the home run! Rodriguez has this wrapped up. What in the world? I truly thought it was all over there. Talk about resilience. Yeah, but did you see how the referee had to get into position? That was all the difference. I don't know if kicking out was wise. I think Raquel is on the verge of hurting her opponent. I can see up to the rafters, and there's not a single person sitting down. What an environment this is. All eyes are glued on this battle. Fighting back, however, punches in the midsection. the floor what's she gonna do elbow drop piercing point of the elbow nailed it well-timed counter on rodriguez she sent back in under the ropes Boom, running s 
STO plants him. Nicely done. Saw it coming and got out of there. Oh, anus knee to the face. Just like she envisioned. She shocked not only her opponent, but the entire WWE Universe. But you can't strike a referee. She's going to be heavily fined for that. The Viper is ready. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing in at 245 pounds, Randy Orton. A chill is in the air. The cold, calculated nature of Randy Orton is about to be on display. The Viper is a superstar who does not play well with others. Evil intentions in mind tonight, I can guarantee you that. Yeah, Orton always knows when to strike and when to strike first. generation someone comes along who's simply so much better than everyone else they just make it look easy randy orton is that someone he was born into greatness here he is a champion twice over. Wow. And his opponent from Preston, England, weighing in at 246 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion and the World Wide Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Wade Barrett. It's got to be twice as nice carrying around two titles. I don't know, Saxon, that's a lot of weight to carry, both physically and mentally. The target on his back is now twice the size. This man will not let either of those titles out of his grasp. A determined look on the face of the double champion. Randy Orton might just be one of the most enduring superstars in the history of WWE. But over his long and decorated career, he's never stopped evolving. He's still finding ways to surprise us. I think the changes in Randy's attitude have been the most surprising. Once a stone-faced lethal predator, 
Now he's making friends inside the ring, taking time to enjoy his life as a WWE superstar and kick back a little. I have to say, it's been nice to see Randy open up a little, but make no mistake, he's as lethal as ever between the ropes. I'm afraid I've got some bad news for him. He's taking on Wade Barrett. You know, it says a lot about Barrett to be widely considered one of the toughest superstars ever in WWE. There aren't many that can go blow for blow with the man from Preston. Oh. Elbow drop to the knee. Able to elude it. Here come the bombs. I think Rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind Rage. Answers back on Orton. Close fist connects. DDT. Knee finds the app. This could be it. Cover. No, kicks out. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. Shot after shot, then slamming their face down. Reversal, can they go on the attack? Close line! He was waiting for him to make his move. Oh, what a knee. And it looked like the competition was set on teaching Orton something there. Yeah, Barrett's clearly looking to prove that he's still that rough and tumble, hard hitting fighter from the streets of England. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Stop in the leg. Ooh, well measured. One. Takes out the knee. Orton isn't being given a chance to breathe. And Orton needs to bring the match back to his pace. Ah, uh, the reversal by Orton. in full effect from the Apex Predator. Taking it outside the ring now. And now gets tossed into the ring. Look. There's a reason this man's called the Apex Predator. Tides are beginning to shift in the favor of the Viper. He thinks he has it. No, he pops the shoulder before three. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Oh man, Orton just stomping away and enjoying every moment of it. One after another. A lethal blow from the Apex Predator. Back body drop. Section. Just mounted with punches and not and a Oof. stomp to the gut too. Ah, yeah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Trying to wrestle free their opponent's arm has the arm trapped. Goodness gracious! Will Barry get back up? That was about as close as it could get without it all being over for him. That should have been it. 99% of the time it is. Orton is seeing red right now. And he's got more work to do here. Boom! Orton's so evasive. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. Just one step ahead. Look at Barrett's face after that shot. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Oh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. They were cutting it kind of close, don't you think? You can say that again. Time to get the let out. A 
bit of provocation from Barrett. He climbed. Oh, he gets what he deserves for all that gloating. That's a free fall. The Viper taking a moment to soak it all in now. Another one. Ah, oh, look at this, just cranking it out. Cranking the head. Pure intensity from the Viper. And he's been able to outsmart Bear, which has really given him the upper hand here. Delivering. Does he have it here? a massive victory. It was certainly a treat for all of us to watch here tonight. This superstar can now enjoy victory. Oh, what? Oh, no. Got the steel chair. Come on. This is absolutely heinous. Totally uncalled for. So much bad blood here. Wasting little time to get this thing started. Here we go. These two are at it. The bell hasn't even rung yet. The official needs to get control. The official doing their best. And maybe we will get some semblance of control and a bell. Here we go. Trying to catch the superstar off guard, but they were prepared. Yeah, these two did not want to wait for the bell, but the referee finally able to get things under control. After a shotgun attack during the entrances, this match has found its way inside the ring at last. Now we can really get things started. These superstars were certainly in a hurry to get this started. That was a brilliant strategy, guys. Throw your opponents off by taking the fight to them. And Rikishi with a counter. So much damage inflicted. How can an opponent even hope to topple a big man of Rikishi's unique size and physicality? From way up, look out below! No matter who you are, when you crash on the floor, a searing pain races through your body. Ooh, DDT delivered. There is some power behind that punch. Big overhand. And he has an answer for Rikishi. Look out! Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off! That was playing with fire and getting burned. The decision to take such a risk at this juncture is questionable. to the ring now. Ouch. Oh, right to the jaw. Now he's 
been put on the defensive. If Rikishi can produce more of that, it might get the job done. Delivers the leg drop. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Guys, we could be looking at the start of one of the all-time great sports entertainment rivalries. Way to put the cart before the horse, Cole. Sure, there's potential here. There always is. But they're not exactly having to be ripped apart from each other yet. Oh, he's looking to completely render this leg useless. Oh, damage to the hamstrings. taking it to the next level. This one's becoming too close to call. Yeah, it's hard to predict how this one will end. Spinning heel kick. Oh. These two going strike for strike, it seems. Oh. Nothing pretty here. Just good old-fashioned fisticuffs. It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. So much pride. So much resiliency on display. Two fighters putting their haymakers on autopilot right now. Oh, man, what a headbutt. Looking for a high risk, high reward situation. Up high. Oh, that's it. What a splash. Hoping to end it here. This is it. Yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. He just won't give up. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Spinning heel kick. This match may be nearing its limit. There is no way this can go on for much longer. I fights Rikishi back. Oh. And he slides him back to the mat. Vicious right forearm. And the DDT! Does he get him here? The rope stopped the pin. DDT plants them. Face buster. Rikishi now starting to bleed. to the face will create separation. And he sends him into the corner. Running hip attack. What impact. And oh, countered into a neck breaker. Man, that was such a long and hard fought match. He earned that victory. Here is your winner. Jeff Harvey! Talk about a solid win. Everything went their way here. Only because the opposition got softened up by that attack earlier. But you're right. Victory is theirs. It took plenty of cunning and some killer instinct. But what a win. Maybe not the words I would have chosen for describing how they pulled this off. But yeah, they won.
the living legend. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Abruzzo, Italy. Weighing in at 265 pounds, the first superstar, Bruno San Martino. This man might just be the best of all time. Multiple generations of fans would agree. No one has dominated any era quite like Bruno San Martino. The leader of the Attitude Era, the Rattlesnake. And his opponent from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, the WWE Undisputed Champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin. The iconic Texas Rattlesnake. A pivotal figure in the Monday Night Wars. If it isn't the definition of irony that WCW once fired this man who would go on to become one of the biggest names in the history of this industry. Stone Cold Steve Austin has done it his way every step of the way. Bruno San Martino taking on Stone Cold Steve Austin here tonight. What a match this is going to be. Yeah, Cole, the powerhouse San Martino versus the brawling Austin. This is going to be a smash mouth match for sure. I got goosebumps already thinking about what we're going to see. You have to wonder just what on earth these two are going to do to each other in the ring. When grappling with the likes of Bruno San Martino, you have to be as slippery as possible. Stay moving, stay agile. If you let Bruno take you head on, he has the power and talent to just bulldoze right through you. Yeah, picking your moments to attack seems like the key against the almost superhuman San Martino. And Dr. Trash only likes Stone Cold Cam. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Ooh, that's a kick that would leave you gasping for air. I think they just told him they're number one. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. Suplex attempt. Able to go behind, though. Into a chop block. Oh, a knee right to the face. That knee is a lethal weapon. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Nice counter by Austin. Taking this to the floor. Fights back against Stone Cold. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Elbow drop. Piercing. Taking the brawl right to Austin with that offense. Yeah, San Martino saw the opportunity and didn't hesitate. Bruno is really fired up now, standing tall against him. Punch right in the head. Caught square by the haymaker. Has them hooked, looking for sliced bread. Oh, countered into a power slam. Ah. Uh, Just cranking the head. Oh, and a stop. A oh, bear hug, squeezing the breath out of it. Bear hug. Well placed elbow. We'll get you out of it. That might be enough. Yes, it is. Close line. Kick to the stomach. Off. Four just raking across the face. Saw that one coming. He deflects 
Kicks it right back. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Stomp after stomp after stomp by Stone Cold. A little salute. Austin's not stopping. Austin looking ready to put an end to this. Looking ready. Austin. Stone Cold Stunner. San Martino looks absolutely out of it. Understand the sentiment, but now is not the time to bask in disbelief. Oh, a shot right to the kidney. Yokes up their opponent. Sidewalk slam delivered. Consecutive attacks keeping San Martino off his game. The Texas Rattlesnake taking it to San Martino. No regard or respect for Bruno in the process. Elbow right to the heart. Austin going with Old Faithful, just absolutely pummeling San Martino there. Caught the leg. Clothesline takes him down. Forget about it. This has been a savage and brutal battle between Austin and San Martino, and guess what? Neither one is slowing down. Ball right to the nose. Bruno still clear of that. He may be in a bad way here. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Oh, Ooh, what a knee lift. Somebody better check his nose. Strong right forearm. Front kick to the body and check out this power. And he makes it to the ropes. I knew it, Jordan. Bruno has Austin in his crosshairs and he's looking to pull the trigger. Oh, goes down face first from the gourd buster. Front kick to the body and uh -oh. a well-timed dodge. When you're in an atmosphere like this, when you can't hear yourself think because the crowd's so loud, you find a way to do superhuman things. That's what these combatants are doing here. Targeting the arm to great effect. Austin with a stunner! Stone Cold with a stunner! Austin got all of it. are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Powerless position to be in right now. Getting tossed. He must have seen that coming. Shoulder tackle. Taking the wind out with a stomp to the solar plexus. Such punishment being dealt by Austin. It's just like we said earlier, he's picking when to attack Bruno. He's carefully staying agile to avoid retaliation. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Oh, I heard a snap. Bang! Stop after stop after stop. Somebody better check his nose. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Boom, right to the body. Boom. Austin just looking to humiliate his opponent. Plants him. Nicely done. And in all momentum has been taken from Austin. Stone Cold's finding himself on the wrong end of Bruno's power. Opportunity now for a front kick to the body and check out this power for a Canadian backbreaker submission. Ah, uh, look at this. That's a great escape. 
Kick to the gut. And a big right hand. Oh, my goodness. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Austin. Uh-oh. San Martino dodges that attack. Dangerous spot for him to be in. And this has quickly become a match to be remembered. A classic in Whoa. the making. How in the world is it going to end? Face rank, this is nasty. in the ring now. Austin getting in his opponent's face. I don't think the censors would like the venom that's coming out of the rattlesnake's mouth right now. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his ties. Short jab. Raining down those shots to the back of the neck. Clubbing blows. Hits to the corner like that will render you useless. Oh! Oh, a knee to the face. And he goes into the ring. victory for Steve Austin. That was incredible. Here is your winner, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold Steve Austin with a big win, and Bruno San Martino has a tough loss to swallow. I know Stone Cold has to be loving this victory, Michael, but Bruno has got to be proud of how he performed here tonight. Here comes the personification of longevity and hard work, the 16-time world champion. Well, not just the 16-time world champion, a Hollywood phenomenon and a man who embodies the meaning of superstar. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds. The WWE United States Champion, John Cena! A superstar whose dominance has bordered on controversy has actually found himself as the target of scorn for some. Uh, the dominance shouldn't be controversial, Corey. If anything, he's underrated at this point. Cena's beaten a who's who of this business. 
Hall of Famers, living legends, Triple H, HBK, The Rock, the list goes on and on. And that bodes well for his chances here tonight. Look who's here. The Phenom has arrived. And demise awaits anyone who stands across the ring from the dead man. The Reaper walks among us. And his opponent from Death Valley, weighing in at 299 pounds, the WWE Champion, the The magnificence of the Phenom. Truly a mesmerizing scene. The legendary Phenom creates an atmosphere unlike anything you will see. Talk to anyone who's ever been in the ring opposite The Undertaker and they will tell you nothing prepares you for this. The stoic walk of the dead man. Three decades of dominance. The dead man's wrath is unending. An unspeakable reign of terror over the WWE. And this is the moment where there is no turning back for The Undertaker's opponent. Welcome to damnation. One of the biggest mistakes in John Cena's life was making incendiary comments about The Undertaker because the dead man will always remember those words. Words, I might add, that were said by Cena without provocation. Some people hold John Cena responsible for bringing back the dead man. They say Undertaker was in isolation in the darkest corner of Death Valley. Tonight, Cena must be prepared to defend himself against an unspeakable fury. A fury so powerful, his survival is in question. Right across the back of the neck. Springboard misses the target. Big elbow. Oh, that might have just broken something. He had it scouted. Got oh, Fisher and Suplex. Oh, bear hugs. The bear hugs. Cinched in, gotta find a way out and catch your breath. Look at this, no quit whatsoever. Raining down elbows and escaping the bear hug. Uh-oh, got snatched up here. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Set him up, Russian leg sweep. Can he do it here? Stops the ref count before two. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. Lights out. He connects. Undertaker retaliates. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Big punch finds its mark. Blow to the abdomen, gets them out of that. And now thrown back into the ring. 
John Cena feeding off the WWE. Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. Shoulder tackle. This is just ridiculous. Look at the power. This is downright superhuman. And what a maneuver we just saw there. Being able to pull that off, no one is going to question if you skip going to the gym today. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Yeah, that was that hustle of Cena he's always talking about. Crank in the head. Oh, God, that hurt. Oh, just turn that around. Yeah, that'll do some serious damage. Undertaker is now under pressure. John is fearless from the top. The leader of the C Nation. This might be Cena's moment. The Undertaker could be in trouble. Oh, not today. Caught by surprise with the DDT. Elbow drop. Piercing. Cena gets intercepted. Whoa, dropped on the crown. Oh no, I think that one busted up Cena's face. Drops the leg. Oh no, crashing hard onto the floor. You have daring and you have stupid. That was stupid. It was a daring decision that didn't provide the expected result. Yeah, stupid. He's got him scouted. Reversal by The Undertaker. The Undertaker by the sixth in. The Undertaker with a thunderous choke slam. A thunderous attack by The Undertaker. Might be time to carve Cena's headstone. He'll take things into the ring. Big risk here. He... Cena. Uh-oh. Undertaker move. The time has arrived to rest in peace. Tombstone pile driver. That could end Cena right now. Two. He kicked out of two. Far too much hustle in John Cena to let it end like that. Never give up indeed. Not many opponents can take that kind of a shot from Undertaker and keep kicking. You have to think Taker has just gained a bit more respect for his adversary. We knew this would be one for the ages, but this could be a match of the decade candidate. The way Cena and Taker are going at it, you might have to upgrade that to match. Here's Cena. Oh, two adjustment. Cena connected there. Two count, and they're still in this. The dead man still very much alive, despite taking what I can only describe as a hellacious maneuver. And now Cena can't waste any time. That wasn't the outcome he expected, but he has to remain the aggressor. Gonna take it old school. Uh -oh. <laughs> Look out. Boom. This could be big. Going up high. Look out. Diving into the leg drop. I oh, had that well scouted. Muscle. up their opponent been driven down with emerald flosion deep into this battle and cena is still doling out damage cena going into the reserves to still find some fight somehow he saw taker coming look at this going counter for counter the reaper seems to be coming for cena the dead man has him up just turned his lights out. Good officiating there. Referee seeing him the ropes and breaking the count. Big drop of the leg. And he's taking this to the outside now. 
Ooh. What a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. And he's able to reverse. Turning to the ring. Locks in the gut wrench. Suplex. Uh oh. How did scout it? Caught by the back of the elbow. He was elusive there. have been decimated, fortitude has been tested, and these fans are showing their approval of these superstar performances. And a well-executed move we just saw there. Cena's got Taker right where he wants him. Cena has him up! Hey! Crucial moment for The Undertaker. Disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder up. Just like that, Cena gets intercepted. Crank in the head. Lands an elbow. Boom. Leg drop. I think we know what's coming next. Vaulting plancha, incredible. Throwing all costs into the wind and leaping to the outside. Looks like John Cena is locked in on his opponent. This one might be headed ringside. Oh, wow. Oh, this is what a headbutt. Oh, the elbow connects. Leg drop. And Cena retaliates. Saw that one coming. Nice running crossbody. That is the confidence of John Cena. The confidence you have when you are the face that runs the place. Cena 
Powering up his opponent into position. Attitude adjustment. Is that going to decide it for Cena? I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Soaring. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. Way down hard. The last ride. The Reaper with some of his defining offense. Countered it. A oh, bear hug. Furiously trying to fight. Coming. Moved out of the way that can change the whole complexion of this match. And well timed maneuver there. And the cover for the win. Kicks out. He still has life. How have we not claimed a winner yet? You got to believe that not wanting to feel the agony of defeat is causing this never surrender attitude. Into the suplex. on Cena. The dead man has decided this ends now. Tombstone! One more time throwing the heavy artillery. Try to end it. Somehow, someway, they weathered the storm. Here is your winner. The We saw the dead man send John Cena straight to the fires of hell. It's George the Animal Steel. Be careful, this arena is about to turn into a disaster area. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 275 pounds, George the Animal Steel. The green tongue, the hairy chest, there is only one George the Animal Steel. The animal is about to make a meal of his opponent. And the turnbuckles, too. No, don't encourage this woolly mammoth, you imbecile. Of course you'd condone this. Pound for pound, one of the best around. A naturally gifted cruiserweight and phenomenon. From El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 205 pounds. Eddie Guerrero! Byron.
and it's almost intimidating to think of how highly skilled Eddie Guerrero already is this early in his career. Yeah, you're right, Corey. Exceptional aerial skills, but also pretty amazing when it comes to skirting the rule book. Such an impressive competitor. Future could be very bright. Yeah, we know Guerrero will do anything to make sure it is. It's unusual that George Steele waits for the bell, but we'll go with it. Steele is one of the most unorthodox, bizarre competitors in history. There's a reason he's known as the animal. Just look at him. He resembles the missing link, and I'm not sure, but I think they share the same vocabulary. Yeah, Byron, but don't let the wild man image fool you. Steele is extremely gifted with an arsenal of holds and locks. You can't fight his chaos. You just have to grin and bear it. With that in mind, he has to watch out for Eddie Guerrero. Guerrero may not be the biggest dog in the fight, but he might just be the smartest and the craftiest. And he knows that sometimes you've got to do whatever it takes to get the job done. He's got that Guerrero fire you just can't teach. You would have to question the mentality of someone who just sunk their teeth into flesh. Telegraph that one and delivers a blow to the gut. Oh, right in there. Paying it right back with a reversal. Jeez. Wow, what an arm drag. Let's talk about this matchup, Corey. If you're Eddie Guerrero, what do you have to do to leave here victorious? Eddie Guerrero must attack from the air. Eddie needs to utilize his speed and agility to maintain a vertical base. Land your offense, keep it moving. And that will surely test Eddie's composure here. And a series of vicious stomps. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the... And will this be... I think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Oh, the reversal by Eddie Guerrero. Tossed, and he goes for the pin. He narrowly avoids the count. Wow. He'll wind up elbow drop. Right to the back of the neck. Getting set up for something in the corner. Wicked clothesline. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Ooh. He's absorbed some damage already. Eddie Guerrero with a well-timed shot. And Eddie pays for leaving an opening. Like a brick wall running into you. Off the turnbuckles. What's he got? Oh, look out. You gotta be kidding me. And after that, you know things have just kicked up a notch. Pedal to the metal right now. Oof, and all the impact brought to the knee. Denied via a wicked punch. Uh-oh. What are they gonna do here? How about a little gory special? Trying to find a way out. Elbow into an arm drag. Beautiful escape. Returning to the ring now. Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. Great strength being shown here. Oh, right to the throat. Oh, what's coming here? Submission move being applied. Oh, this one's over. Tap out coming. Able to punch his way in. Latino Heat with a boot to the gut. And a brain buster. This is Eddie's chance. Turn around. The pin. The referee is missing the pin. 
breaks the cover. That's ridiculous. It works. Here is your winner, Eddie A surprisingly fast victory here tonight. Clever is really the only word that can describe that victory. However you want to describe it, it certainly worked.